Thanksgiving is a time to count your blessings. And for Lynn Killam, primate supervisor for the Houston Zoo, one of this year's blessings is the opportunity to participate in preserving a beautiful species. Well, these are Shafak. These are some of the most endangered primates on the planet. They are one of the largest species of lemurs. All lemurs are from Madagascar. And they have been bred for years at the Duke University Lemur Center. And now several zoos uh, have started housing them in the hopes that they will also breed and produce more. So we're, we're very successful now with the breeding program, but we have to do it exactly the way that Duke University Lemur Center uh, asks us to. So I had to go out there and visit for three days and learn how to care for them. They have very specific husbandry plans. Lemurs are pro-simians, and if you look at the Latin, pro means before, simian means monkey, so they're sort of more ancient than the monkeys are. They've been around longer. And um, these lemurs are different from other lemurs because they are leaf eaters. They eat about 90-some species of leaves in the wild. And here at the zoo, we actually have to go out and cut grouse or leaves for them every morning. We have about 20 species here on zoo grounds that they can eat. And our horticulture department has planted some that we never have had before called the winged sumac. And that will be, in case we have a freeze, we'll use the winged sumac, which can be frozen and stored. Well, they're fascinating animals. I've been lucky enough to see them in the wild, a different subspecies uh, of this this animal, but they, they are uh, beautiful, they're very different from the other primates, they vocalize differently, they use vertical clinging and leaping to move, which is um, something that not many of the primates use. I, I guess bush babies and galagos are the only ones that come to mind that are commonly seen in zoos that use that method of locomotion. They're just startlingly beautiful. Moving can be stressful for anyone. But with good planning and lots of support from their keepers, the Shifak are quickly making themselves at home. They're settling in really well. It took them a few days after they came here from quarantine. Of course, every animal in the zoo has to go through quarantine. Uh, but they were uh, a little hesitant at first because I think it had been a while since they'd been outdoors. Once they discovered this big, beautiful exhibit that was built and modified specifically for them by our maintenance department, they have enjoyed it. They are really doing beautifully. This is like a lemur paradise for them. Providing a good home for these Shifak will have an impact far beyond the gates of the zoo. The most important message is they're so endangered that it's really important that as many zoos as possible get involved in their husbandry and management so that we can breed more. There is so much forest degradation. Uh, the forest is being cut down there for many of the same reasons it's being cut down all over the world. But in Madagascar in particular, they make uh, charcoal for cooking and for heating their homes. And so much uh, is being clear cut for that and for agriculture that it's leaving the rainforest animals just with nothing left. So fortunately, there's a lot of good people out there trying to help the situation and to help the people live with the lemurs and all of the other animals in the forests. And there is reason for hope. To learn more about conservation in the Houston Zoo, visit their website at www.houstonzoo.org. For Animal Magnetism, I'm Stacy Hawkins.